Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to check the number entered by the user is a perfect number or not. So here, first let us see what exactly is a perfect number. A perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding the number itself, which is nothing but if we have the number 6, then we have to find the positive divisors or the numbers which will divide this number 6 completely or the factors of this number 6 then they're going to be 1, 2, 3 and 6 and after that we have to eliminate this number itself which is 6 and we have to find the sum of the other factors so it's going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 and we get 6 so here for this number 6 the sum of the positive divisors or the sum of the factors excluding the number itself is equal to the number itself. So we can say that this number 6 is a perfect number. If you take a look at the number 1 then the factors or the positive divisors of this number 1 is 1. So this is not a perfect number because to be a perfect number we have to find the sum of the positive divisors excluding this number itself. So here we have 1 and other than this we don't have any other numbers so we can't find the sum so we can say that this 1 is not a perfect number. In our program what we're gonna do is we can ask the user to enter a number to check whether it is perfect number or not. We will store it in a variable then we will find the factors of that number or the positive divisors of that number and then we will add them and then we will display the result. So here I have uh, already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file and then I have written the main function. Here the first thing that we do is we will declare the variables that we need. As I said before in this program we will ask the user to enter the number. So to store that number we need a variable. I'm going to take integer type of variable and I'm going to call it as number and after that we need another variable for storing the sum of the divisors that we are going to calculate. So I'm going to call the variable as sum and I'm going to initialize this variable with a value of 0. Now what we can do is we can ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to display the message as enter a positive integer. Now whatever the number the user is going to enter we will read that by using the scanf function and we will store that in this number variable. Now we have the number that the user has entered. The first thing that we have to do is we have to find the divisors or the factors of the number entered by the user. To find the factors what we do is we take the number entered by the user for example let us say the user is going to enter 6 and we start dividing this number from 1 and we will check the reminder value. We will check whether the reminder is 0 or not. If we get the reminder as 0 it means that the number 1 is the divisor of this number 6. 1 will be divisor of all the numbers. Now after that we go to the number 2 then we go to the number 3 we will do the same thing we will uh, divide the number 6 by 2 we check the reminder value whether it is 0 or not if it is 0 then it means that 2 is the divisor of this number 6 then we go to number 3 like that. Now the question is how long we have to go uh, here if you look at this number 6 then the numbers which can divide this number 6 completely are from 1 to 6 and in our program to find the perfect number uh, we don't have to include this number 6 we don't have any use of this uh, number itself in this case it is 6 so we can ignore this and if you look at this then the possible numbers that can divide this number 6 completely are from 1 to 3 because we can say that 4, 5 can't divide this number 6 completely. So this 3 is actually half of this number 6. So here in our program we have to start from 1 and we have to check for the divisors up to number divided by 2. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a for loop and in this for loop I'm going to take a loop counter variable and I'm going to call it as divisor. I'm going to initialize this variable with a value of 1 because we will start dividing the number from 1 and then how long we want to run this for loop. 
that condition will be as long as this divisor variable contains a value which is less than or equal to number divided by 2. Here we are performing the integer division. If the user is going to enter an odd number, for example, let us say 7, then this number divided by 2 will become 3.5. But since we are doing the integer division in here, the decimal part will be ignored and it will consider only 3. Okay. After that, with every iteration, what we want to do is we want to increment the value of this divisor variable. So here inside this for loop, we will check whether the value present in this divisor variable is a factor of the number entered by the user. And we can do that by writing the if condition and the condition here will be when we divide the value present in the number variable by the value present in the divisor variable what we get as the reminder. If we get the reminder as zero, it means that the value present in this divisor variable is a factor of this a value present in the number variable. So what I can do right now is I can display that to the screen. So I'm going to use print a function and I'm going to display the value that we have in this divisor variable. Here we are using this modulus operator which will provide us the reminder value when we divide one value with another value. Now if I save this program and if I run this code, enter a positive integer and, if, and I'm going to say 6. Now you guys can see it will display the divisors 1, 2, 3. It will not display 6 because the for loop will stop when this divisor variable contains a value uh, 3 which is half of the number that I have entered. And here we are purposefully ignoring the number 6 or the number itself because to find the perfect number we have to ignore that. So now what we can do in this uh, if statement is uh, we can add the divisors. So what we can do is we can add the divisor variables value to the value present in this sum variable. So we can write sum equal to sum plus divisor or we can uh, uh, you know, write it in a short way we can write sum plus equal to divisor which is nothing but sum equal to sum plus divisor okay so once we come out of this uh, for loop the sum variable will contain the sum of all the divisors of this number now here if the value present in this divisor variable is not a factor of the number then we are not doing anything we are just ignoring that so now after this for loop, we can check the sum that we have calculated, whether it is equal to the number that the user has entered. So I'm going to write the if conditional statement and the condition here will be if sum is equal to number, then it means that the number entered by the user is a perfect number. So we can use the printf function and we can display that message. I'm going to say percentage %d is a perfect number and we can refer the value that we get for this number variable. If the sum is not equal to the number itself, then it means that the number is not a perfect number and we can display that to the screen also. So in this else part, I'm going to say is not a perfect number. Okay. Now we have uh, written the program in here. Let's run this. Enter a positive integer. I'm going to say six. It says six is a perfect number. I'm going to run it one more time. This time I'm going to enter one. It will say one is not a perfect number. I'm going to run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter seven and it will say seven is not a perfect number. So this is it guys. This is how we can write a simple C program to check the number entered by the user is a perfect number or not. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.